Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today we're going to talk about sharing files in Box. Now Box is, amongst many, many other things, an online document management system where you can save your paperless documents in Box securely. And this solves one big problem that people have, which is if I want to send somebody a document, how do I do that? You don't want to e email the documents necessarily because first of all, they might be too big. And second of all, it may have sensitive stuff that you don't want to send an email. So how do you do it securely? Box is a good way to do that. So you can see here, I've got a couple files here in, my, in this Box account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to share and I'm going to click share this file. And right away, it's generated this link here with box.com and a whole bunch of different characters at the end. So this is kind of called security through obscurity, which means that somebody would need to guess or generate that exact random group of characters in order to get at your document. And you can copy this link and send it in an email to somebody, and they would click that link and, and be able to see the document. And here's what it would look like by default. I'm just going to flip to another browser window here. I'm going to paste that link in and it will load up and you can see here what it's doing is it's displaying the document. I can download the document here. I can view the document on this web page here. I can print it. I can view it full screen and you can do different things with it. So that's what the person will see when they receive the link that you send them. Now you can have some control here and I'm going to just flip back to box now and look at what happens when we click access. First of all, we can make it so that instead of all those random characters, you, you can define what the URL itself will be so you can customize that a little bit. Now I'm on the free plan right now, but if you're on the paid plan, you can do things like you can set a password for that document and you can set an expiration so you can say that link is only good for the next day. So that those are two ways to really up the security instead of just relying on having this random group of characters. We can also restrict, restrict permissions. So we can make it so that that preview that we saw on the web page, you can turn that off and you can also make it so they can't download the document. They can just view it on the screen, which is pretty cool. There's also other options here. If you're working with different box users, you can, you can move it to a collaborated folder. And once you're done sharing it or you decide you don't want to share it anymore, you can just click here to disable it. And it's just telling me that and I'll just hit OK. And that link is now gone. The, the link doesn't work anymore. If you're, on, if you're a paid user, you can also make it so that instead of sending people to that uh, little web page to view the doc and download the document. It just sends them a direct link to the document as well. That's available to paid users. So that's an easy way to share documents using Box. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.